Here we are inside a university here in Israel and we're going to be doing some outreach here and we're going to be asking people questions about doing a good deed because today is Good Deeds Day here in Israel. Today's Good Deeds Day, yeah? Yeah. Uh, why would it be a good deed to, say, eat a vegan burger? Why would it be a good deed? Yeah. I mean, you're helping like not to, to treat animals in a wrong way, you know? like not collaborating to the industry of meat or the industry of dairy and stuff like that. So, I mean, that, that could be a, a good deed. Why would eating a vegan burger be a good deed, do you think? Uh, I don't know, it's like engaging in something new. Engaging like, in something new? Yeah, okay. like not eating like meat. Okay, not eating meat. Know, like, so why would not eating meat be a good deed, do you think? I don't know, I won't feel responsible and like responsible uh, guilty for like the killing of the animals. That's probably, yeah. So that would be a good deed, wouldn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So why would eating a vegan pizza be a good deed? Because we won't kill some cow or something for it, I guess. So you won't hurt someone else so you can eat, yeah? I guess that's the... Yeah. How are consumers, like meaning, how are people who buy the flesh and buy the, the animal products, how are they contributing to the animals? violence how they can I mean if there is uh, no it, without the consumer <laughs> without the consumer there is no market you know yeah exactly do you agree with that yeah yeah of course so do you think that these businesses would exist if it wasn't for our money if nobody would like them then no they would like them. yeah of course. So, so to to say I'm not going to consume those products uh, is a good deed for animals yeah Good. You would agree that if we made a choice that didn't involve another being, yeah. then that would be good. Yeah, right. You are vegan? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. yes. Okay, okay. So, so the, the idea of doing a good deed would mean uh, other animals uh, that don't need to die uh, wouldn't have to for that meal, yeah? Yeah, sure. Do you think that's a cool thing to do? Yeah. Wow. So, have you thought about this vegan thing before? Obviously, your friend has. Yeah, I thought about it. The only problem, I like the taste of meat. Yeah. I think the most important reason is that uh, we all desire to live a life without suffering, without harm. Like us, you know, I don't want to be harmed. I don't want to be used, exploited, treated as a slave, an object. And I think it's only fair that, that if we want that respect, that we treat others with that same respect. And especially, you think, you know, that animals, they're very vulnerable, yeah? They're, uh, they're very hopeless, would you agree? Uh, yeah, probably, especially, I don't know how it works in uh, all over the world, but uh, in Sweden they say that there is a, uh, that the control of the, of the animal and when they farm them and yeah. so on, it's like all the EU uh, reglaments and regulations, stuff, regulations sorry, uh, but I'm sure there's a lot of stuff going on behind the, the scene. The scene, yeah. Let's that, that we that we consumers don't get to see. Exactly, exactly. Any way that we use animals for their uh, eggs, for their milk, for their skin, they have to be killed for that. So you might think animals don't get killed for eggs. Do you? you might think that they do. So when they can't lay eggs anymore, they don't go get looked after at a sanctuary. They 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 get killed. So same with milk. You might think, they don't have to kill animals for milk. Yes, they do. All of those animals are killed when they can't produce milk anymore. And all of their children are taken from them. So this is why um, being vegan is the only way we can do this good deed. Let's just say they treated the animals really well. Really well. I mean, like, like family. They, the farmers treated the animals like family. When they go into that slaughterhouse and they come up, chop, come out, the other end chopped up into pieces. Do you think that's treating the animals well? Or? Um, not at all. I think, I mean, I mean, what you're saying, yeah, you're right. Like, killing an animal is not something, you know, it's yeah. not right. Na like, in nat nature, it happens anyways. Yeah, it does. But it's in a more natural way. I mean, you don't have machines. You don't have this way, like, of, um, how's it called? Like, you know, like, so many, like... Yeah, so forcibly huge, breeding you know? animals yeah, and exactly. all, yeah. all that's not natural. I think that's yeah. you know that shouldn't happen. That's like if there would be a way of doing it like more naturally, yeah. which at this point I don't think it's really possible. Maybe with more yeah. like farmers who just uh, breed their own you know products and stuff, yeah. it, it could be a, a little better. But right now I think we feel we live like in a society that it's very like 
you know, they, they care about their pleasure only. Yeah. So if I like a burger, if I like this, I will like close my eyes to things that's going behind it and I'll just go ahead and eat it. So it's like hard for a person to say no to his own ple pleasure. And so <laughs> that's a bit of a problem. You've got like the pain of the cows, the taste. Exactly. But I totally respect whoever uh, goes for the cows. Yeah. So I didn't give up eating meat because it tastes bad. Do you know? I, I stopped eating it because I thought that my taste wasn't worth uh, another being's suffering all their life. Would you agree or? I totally agree. Yet the taste still beats that. Yeah. I'm sorry. It, 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 you think the taste is more important than, than the animal? Um, ideally, no. <laughs> but my body says yes. Sure. Yeah. And the next level would be that, like thinking, okay, I don't want to contribute to this. I will avoid this pleasure. Yeah. And like, you know, maybe replace it with something else, with tofu, with different types of uh, Satan, that's, with, you know, that's all that. A, a huge problem that uh, that I think uh, that I see is that a lot of people um, are very used to to having a piece of meat on the plate yeah. and without the meat the, the dish is not completed yeah. so they basically don't know even if they would like to stop they don't have the the, the tools to they don't know to, how okay exactly. so that's one thing oh, wow that's good that's excellent so would that just involve one burger or maybe in the future more I don't know I'm not eating burger right now but like I'll try the vegan burger and we'll see, what, see, what, what, see what it's yeah. like yeah. see what it's like if I like it I hate it but like if if I won't like it, so I won't eat burgers at all because I'm not eating like This is vegan friendly. Okay. They have a restaurant with this sign on there. You can get a vegan meal okay. from, from these restaurants. Amazing. This here is Challenge 22. It's how you can do a good deed for three weeks. You can eat just vegan for three weeks and they help you. Okay. You mentioned uh, it's not natural. Not natural. Okay, so do you think that because something's natural, that means that it's good? No, it's not good. Okay, I mean, okay. So if we looked at nature and we said, okay, lion, uh, yeah, yeah, gazelle. Yeah, okay. Do you think the gazelle wants to be hunted and killed by that lion? Okay, so, so it's a natural process. It's a natural it process. Like, okay, it happens the in lion life. Has yeah. To eat, so he goes and hunts. He has okay. to. Yeah. I just want to see your canine teeth. You got big canine teeth. Uh, you know, the big yeah, you know. <laughs> for, for eating meat. For eating you. For eating me. We, if we were hard, going to do awesome. something to survive, yeah. um, that would be probably a, a little bit different context. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but no, because yeah, we I have do. this, yeah. like lots and lots of plant foods yeah. at our fingertips, that that we are making a choice. Yeah. Lions cannot make that choice. No. Ah, oh, no, you, no. you have to eat animals to survive, don't you? Oh, of course. Yeah, you know this is how it goes in the savanna. So, in the savanna, you have yeah. to eat animals to survive. Yeah, that's. Yeah, we don't have the supermarket. No, you, know, you so, don't. Yeah. So, you, but you have the supermarket here, don't we? So, so the context for humans is a bit different. And also, when you mention pleasure, that's a very, very good point because if we were, were to choose pleasure over morality, over morals, people would be making very immoral decisions. Yeah. What if you get something really tasty, really tasty vegan food? I might con reconsider. Might reconsider? Might reconsider. Ah, good to hear, good to hear. The meat industry, eating meat and everything, it's, it's completely normalized. normalized. It's normalized. So that's why people are okay with doing immoral things in order to... It's normal. It's like, uh, you know, when human slavery in, the, in America course, yeah, was yeah, yeah. a bit more normalized, yeah. it was culturally accepted, yeah. but it was still immoral. Um, it was but still immoral. It's, it's, the thing is, and what you said about being ignorant, like, uh, so not seeing things that are happening to animals makes it easier to make this choice. Do you think, like, if more people knew the impact of their choices, maybe that would influence their change? I think it's really hard because most people know at least the basics. Not many are completely informed, but many know the basics of it and still choose to not do it, you know? like. I'm actually uh, trying not to... Uh to use makeup that tried on uh, animals. Okay. Uh, that yeah, yeah, because you believe that animals deserve to be treated with respect, yeah? Yes, I was vegan, but it was very difficult, uh, uh, physically, uh, healthy way. Healthy? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's interesting because the science that we've, we've seen as a plant-based lifestyle is the healthiest on earth. There's no saturated fat, no cholesterol. Yeah. Still, like, it's hard to make that last step, you know? Last step. So I think with most people like that, they are aware at least a little bit, but they decide not to because for their own pleasure. 
Have you, like for me personally, I've been inside a slaughterhouse while they're decapitating yeah. animals. I've went been to sanctuaries where animals have been rescued from these facilities. Uh, survival stories, I've connected with animals. I understand that they're just like yeah. me, but look differently. Uh, maybe think a little bit differently. Uh, but they, they want to live, they, they want to they wanna be treated with respect. Yeah. And, and this is what really f motivates me. Animals can't speak, can they? They can't say stop, that hurts, or don't do that to me. Uh, but a lot of people, we're all good people, you could ask nearly every person here, they'll say they care about animals, wouldn't they? They don't want to see animals get hurt, but they will buy a burger. Yeah. But if you buy a burger, we're, we're, we're saying we want to pay for animals to be killed for us. So, You're right. I seen images that are too strong for me. Yeah. Uh, in general, yeah, of course we should be informed and that would totally like make us do a change and become vegan, but like... I think the human nature, like most people, choose not to be informed or... This choice involves victims, so it's more like, yeah, we're, we're choosing to be ignorant to the harm we are causing to others. Oh, it's uh, very weak. I yeah, know. I've seen that people make that mistake before. You didn't do it correctly at the start. This is why with Challenge 22, uh, they, help, they, they help you, they help you do it, but... Yeah. Have you got a card? Here, let me give you this card. But anyway, you seem like you're well on your way. Um, a few more points maybe, a few more yeah, yeah, things yeah, yeah. and in your own time. Some people take a little bit longer than others. For me, I went, I had some information for about six months and then I went, bang, that's it, that's it. Four, four years. And before that you used to eat meat a lot? Or? Heaps. Oh, yeah. uh, pigs for breakfast, chickens for lunch, uh, cows for dinner, big steaks like this. From? Australia. I made the complete switch. Complete switch. Because I had an inconsistency. I was contradiction in my heart and I can't live with that. So I have to be honest to myself and Australia. me eating in Australia is huge barbecues and beer yeah. and what, what does the what is the point of view of the Australian people when it comes to everyone's pretty much everyone's been programmed with the same culture. Yeah. We can get we can get food without animals in it here. Uh, I guess yeah I guess You're, do you think the lion will be happy with that? We've canned all of ours out but always have a card with some information, ethics, environment, health. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Thank so, you for your help. Thank you so much. Yeah. And the motivation. No worries. Here, let me give you a little card here. Challenge 22. Challenge 22. When you look at it from the eyes of the, the victim, it really helps your, your decision. Because you go, okay, it's okay from standing over this way, but when I go like this, Wow, it's a, it's a, it's a, the decision becomes more yeah, yeah. easy to make. So, will the lion be happy with that? Uh, with the, with what? With not with, eating with vegan food? food. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think so. I think so. You think yeah. so? I, th okay. I think the next generation of lions would like to do that. Okay, that's good. Good to hear, my friend. Good to hear. <laughs> I would like to hear your opinion about being vegan and how it it makes you to be a better person. Makes you to be a better person. Well. When you become vegan, uh, you realise that you've been causing a lot of harm, a lot of unnecessary harm with your choices. And when you become vegan, you've just stopped causing that harm. So it's the first step, but it doesn't make you this excellent, excellent person. It just means you've stopped hurting animals.